Hey guys, we went out and picked up this 2012 328i. And today what we're gonna do is we're gonna install our 2012 to 2014 projector U-bar headlights. These ones are black. So let's take a closer look at the headlights and see what we have going on. So here's a closer look at our black projector headlights. As you can see, the lens is clear. The housing inside is black to give it a much deeper color. We have over here, we have our parking and turn signal. Then we have our LED U-bars around the low and the high beam. And then we also have projectors on both of them. So on the back side, you can see there's no wiring to do. Uh, you have your main connector down here. That'll plug into your factory harness. And then on the bottom right here, you'll notice there's no tabs on here because we do provide new ones. And all you have to do is take these out of the package. and slide them back on like this. That'll allow us to reuse the factory bolt and the same stock style mounting. The tools that you'll need for this is a 3 8 ratchet, a couple different lengths of extensions, a couple different lengths on 10 millimeter sockets, an eight millimeter socket, a T30 Torx, a T20 Torx, and a panel popper. Okay, so let's get started on taking these out. So first we're gonna pop the hood. And the, we have to remove this front bumper in order to access the whole headlight housing. So the first thing to do is you have this rubber trim up here. You're just gonna grab it from the side and pull it off. Set this off to the side, reinstall it later. Okay, so now once we've removed the rubber trim, what we have is we have eight Torx bolts along this front edge here, all the way back to this side, and we're gonna need to remove those. That's where the T20 on top of the headlights, and then the T30 on the front part of the bumper. The first ones we're gonna remove are the ones over the headlight. Do both of those, since those are the oddball sizes. And now we can switch our bit over to the 30. Typically you have another one right here, but this one didn't have it in it. So, but typically you do have another one here. Okay, so once we've removed those top bolts, we need to move over to the side. For this, you're gonna need to turn your wheels towards the inside, depending on which side you're on. You're gonna have to do it for both sides. So. We have three eight millimeter bolts to, that holds the inner fender well in. And then we have another two eight millimeter bolts that hold the upper part of the bumper to the fender. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove those. So now that we've got these three bolts that hold this inner well in, what we need to do is we need to pull this back. Now this is really hard to show in here and I do apologize for not showing it, but you will take your eight millimeter and locate the two bolts here holding this part in. So you can get a light in here or feel around for them. There's one right here out at the end. They're fairly long, as you can see. This one is fairly long, eight millimeter. And then there's, so this one's here. And then if you go back about two, two and a half inches, there's another one right here. And there's that one. So once you've done that, you'll be able to grab right here and pull this part out. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that on the same side over there, and then we'll move underneath the vehicle. Okay, so once we've got both these sides removed, as you can see, it's, it's loose up here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna move down to underneath here. And what you have is you have, on either side, you have three of these push tabs, but you can use your panel popper. And these are fairly small, so you'll have to pry them up first and then be able to pull them out like this. And then they'll come out as a whole piece like this. You can pull the pin all the way out, but if you do, make sure you don't lose it. 
The other thing is, is there are a bunch of eight millimeter bolts down there. And since I don't have a lift, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this ratchet so I can't get my drill under here. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so we've removed the bolts from up here, the bolts on the side, and the bolts from underneath. So now we can slide this top section out. And there's a few fastener clips in here that it holds onto, and all you have to do is give her a good wiggle and finagle it out. Just like that. So I've already had this off, but let me set this off to the side and I'll show you. Okay, so I've already had the bumper off once and I just set it off to the side. But what you wanna do is when you get it to, you know, just off the vehicle, you want to untwist your bulb from your fog light and then also disconnect your parking sensors. That way you can remove the bumper completely from the vehicle and not disturb anything. So once we're at this part, we're now it's time to start looking at the mounting holes where the stock headlight is bolted in. We have one here, another one over here, then we have one up here, and we have one back here hidden. So these can be a little difficult to get to, but I'm gonna show you, we're gonna walk through it and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So this one here is a T30. The rest of the bolts here and the two on the bottom, those are both 10 millimeters and that's the reason why we have multiple size on sockets and extensions. The next bolt you want to remove from the top side is this one that's hidden back here on the back side. So what you can do is you can go in through the side over here and line it up like that and remove it. If you drop the bolt, don't worry about it too much because it's on the front side of the fender, so it'll drop down onto the floor for you. So the last two bolts you have to remove is this one right here and this one right here. Both of these are T30 Torx. And on this one in here, I'm gonna use the extension like this. And on this one here, I'm just gonna pull this back with no extension. So it'll be like this. Okay, so now we've got our stock headlight out of the vehicle. And, you know, in some cases you can have a tough time with it, but, you know, take your time and you'll, you'll get it. So the clearances in here are kind of tight, but you'll, you'll get it. So we're ready to install our new headlight. And the new retainers that I showed you earlier we're gonna go ahead and uh, just slide those on. You're gonna make sure that you slide the mating surface towards the vehicle here. That way you can thread in your bolt. So, just like that. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to place this back in here. So it will be pretty free. So this bolt up here, what you wanna do is you wanna just go ahead and start hand threading it in. So once, once you thread this in a little bit, this will allow your headlight to hang without having to use a couple hands or you know maybe a buddy or something. That sometimes it's a little difficult to get everything in here all at once. So, you know, you just wanna get this kind of hand tight up here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in this side bolt over here. So I'm gonna show you a little trick about that. Okay, so to get this side bolt in, you know, it can be a little difficult. 
you can try and reach up in here and hold it and reach around and everything. What I usually do is I put it on the socket and then I can take a little piece of electrical tape or, you know, blue tape or whatever you have available. It'll all work. And I only put a little bit. I don't wrap the whole bolt because what I want is I want it to come back off. And all this is meant to do is secure the bolt just long enough to the socket. That way I can get it in. So I just, that's it. Just that little piece. Now what I can do is I can route this back in here line it up and start hand tightening it. So now, as you can see, it's hand tightened in there and the black tape comes back off on your socket. That way you don't keep dropping that bolt. And then now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move to the bottom side, put those bolts in, and then um, tighten everything up and be able to reinstall the front bumper. Okay, so these pieces that we put on the bottom side of the headlight, as you can see, the headlight's still loose. Everything's tightened except for this outer corner. So. How these pieces work that we put on the bottom of the headlight to mount it is they are adjustments. So as you can see, I just adjusted it all the way down. So if you turn this outer piece here, you can turn it like this, counterclockwise will tighten it up, and then clockwise will move it out. And if you can see this, as I turn it clockwise, you can see that it starts to come out. So, and obviously if you keep twisting it, it'll come all the way out. So what you wanna do is you may have to go back and forth on how far this distance here is because you'll have to adjust this one out here. So what I would do is I would start with uh, the same size as the stock one, you know, measure it out and then twist this to get the correct distance in here. Now, if you don't want to go through all that, what you can do is you can pull your stock ones off the headlight and you can put them on. And those are already adjusted to the proper height. See, what that does is that tightens this all up. So all I did was I backed that out pretty far um, to where I was happy with the gap up here. So now I can put the bolt back in and tighten her up. Okay, so as you can see, you know, we got that all back together. Um, everything looks pretty good. Uh, now, you know, we're ready to close the hood and test the functions.